Hi y'all and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to another little Jesus chit chat. It's been a while but here we are back at it again and man oh man is God changing my life so much. Recently I feel like I'm in that stage where I just like don't like anything I do, don't like anything I say, I'm really down on myself. And it starts to reflect on how I act, what I do, what I say, and I am getting sick and tired of it. And I've been noticing in the past week how dramatic change my life has made in small areas. But it's like, dang, I've gotten kind of far from God in these areas. Why? Just because I feel like I can't live up to what he wants me to do. I just give up in areas and I slide by rules and I fall into sin and temptation. Like, no, yeah, I'm all messed up. Yeah, things are difficult, but God is so good and he gives me so much love. So why do I like run away from him and hide from him? On days when I spend too much time on my phone or I'm really tired and I just feel guilty, I don't want to read my Bible. And I never really pat, pack apart what that really means. Usually I mean, oh, I'm just too tired. I need to get to bed, it's getting late. But the real reason is I sin and I'm afraid to go to God. Yeah, I'll pray, but I'm afraid to be in time with him because what, what will he say to me? Is he disappointed in me? God is not disappointed. He has so much love. And every time I open my Bible and I read the Old Testament and he's sending judgment through the land, but then he's restoring. You see how much he loves us. He loved us enough to send his son. And before seeing his son, he loved us enough to send these rules down to make an effort so we could be with him. And it's just amazing how much he loves us. But yeah, I want to run away from God because I think he's mean. He's not. He's amazing and lovely and he is my God. He sent his one and only true son down this earth so he'd be fully man and fully God and he could die holding our sins holding the weight of the world's sins on him for a great great reason our sins are forgiven we are free in God and he loves us but yet we get so down the down on ourselves when we shouldn't we should live freely in what God has given us but not like live freely and doing what we want, which is one of my biggest problems. I kind of forget that I want to live my life for Jesus. He changed me, so I want to live for him and I want to do this life for God. So why wouldn't I? And I let some things slip like, oh yeah, I can say that, that's fine. Oh yeah, that's not gonna hurt anybody. Or, oh, one cuss word here or there is gonna not gonna hurt anybody. But when it really, one, you let one small little thing get into you and you just slip away. But there's always redeeming parts, but it's hard. You get to a point where you burn yourself out and you're guilty, heavy of sin. But maybe if I go through my life with a better perspective, I can always be like, oh yeah, God would not want me to do that. So I change and I walk away to different new horizons. Because God is with me and God is so good. And he is loving and gracious and just amazing. He truly is just an amazing, awesome God. And I will forever proclaim Jesus' glory. And a part of my sin, I feel like, goes back to a part in 2 Corinthians. I think it's 12, 9, is when Paul is dealing with this thorn in his flesh because of boasting. We don't know what this thorn in his flesh is. But it's some type of ailment. It could be an illness. It could be a sin of his. It could be whatever. But something that is hindering him. But yet he is like, this is joy. This is what I can use to proclaim Jesus. Because as Jesus says in 2 Corinthians 12, 9, my grace is sufficient for you. My love is enough for you. It's, don't quote me on that i'll have it down here but it's such an amazing verse of jesus saying i am enough this sickness you're going through this temptation that you're going through the season you're going through this could be the chance that you can use to show me and to change your life around there are new opportunities in every single 
way, valley, mountain, mountain peak, whatever you are, there's amazing opportunities. And on while you're on the way to the mountain, on while you're on the way to the top of the mountain, look around and see how much joy you have. Because maybe you do have a thorn in your flesh. But Jesus has so much joy around you. When I fall into temptation, it's hard to be like, oh, it's, it's easy to be like, oh, I'm just a terrible person. I'll never, never measure up. We won't measure up. We are imperfect. We'll never be perfect people. We're on the way God is trying to perfect us. But we're never going to be perfect here on the But when you're doing this and you're getting yourself down, but just stop and look around and see all the joy God has you. If you're watching this, you probably have access to the internet, to a phone, to a tablet, to a computer. If you're... Maybe you have earbuds in, that's a joy. Or maybe you have some really nice clothes on or you just have great friends or something that Jesus has given you. Or even small blessings that you even have a Bible with you that you can read. Cause not everyone has the means to buy a Bible, the ability to buy a Bible. And it's so amazing how, it, how blessed we are that I used to, when I was little, I used to think, oh, I wonder if I live this life, or I wonder if I was this, or blah, blah, blah. Well, this is my life. This is what Jesus has called me to live, so I'm going to live my life out to the fullest as I can, and I'm not going to let stinking little worldly desires get to me, and I feel like I talk about worldly desires a lot because this is a daily thing. I am a freshman in high school. And if anyone has been to a high school recently, the thing is filled with worldly desires. Boyfriends, um, bad things, parties, blah, 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 blah. All this stuff. And I'm like, I want to choose Jesus. I want to spread the light in this world. It's hard when there's so many people with the status quo of cussing and doing this. It's hard to shine the light. But it's not impossible. It might be hard, but it's not impossible. I'm will fail someday people come up to me and they're like oh you like jesus you love jesus tell me about him they're like oh i like your shirt if i have like a jesus something on me and it's just amazing to me how amazing god is it's crazy actually what god can do in your life this takes me back to the verse in james is uh count it all joys brothers and sisters for perseverance produces something something i don't can't memorize script haven't memorized that scripture but count it all joys brothers and sisters because god has given me eternal life jesus died on this cross for me for you for everyone and isn't that joy enough just to walk through your day and be like yeah jesus died for me so i'm gonna live for him <laughs> and that's all i have for you today i hope you're doing great if you ever need a talk i'm always here you can reach me down in the comments or whatever. I am always here for you. I hope you're having a blessed day. Remember, I love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll catch you somewhere else. Bye, y'all.